Alright, welcome to episode 3 of Steel Man. That's one better than I am. After I made the spider silk uh, robes, which I showed briefly at the end of the last one, um, decided I wanted to do something a bit more AFK, so I went to fishing because I was struggling for food in most of the quests anyway. So we're back here. Um, I've got to get 262, um, I think it was, of all of these, which might take a while, which means I'll probably get to like level 50 just from the challenge. Right, well I've completed my challenge. Uh, I am level 47, although not too far off from 48. Um, basically there is absolutely no way that from the reward I'm going to get to level 50. Um, and I would like level 50 because it means I can use the higher leveled uh, portal in the wizard's tower. So I'm just going to continue here till 50 just to make sure I get it. And then the reward will be any reward I get over 50 rather than to get me to it. And that is 50 runecrafting. That's our first level 50 stat. So for that one at least, it's starting to look half decent. Let's go get our reward. All right, and we claim the reward. 14k XP. Okay. That is good to know and significantly better than I thought it would be. Right, so what I'm going to do now is ignoring all kills from yesterday. I am going to track them today with this HP counter. And I'm also going to use this timer to basically see one how many I'm killing and sort of loot from however long it takes or if I get the rune hatchet how many I killed remember this is ignoring all that I killed yesterday right well old school fag seems to think these are 22 nats every four kills um, my one nat from 52 kills um, kind of disagrees with this I'm wondering if it's combat level based so I'm just going to get my main down here and we'll just sort of try it right well they're level 12 for a lot as well. Alright, well these definitely don't work the same as they do on 07, which is making me doubt that I'm ever going to get a rune hatchet from here, which is a bit annoying because of how much time I spent into getting here, and how much time I've spent here itself. Uh, but it's looking like it's going to be like one of those 1 in 10,000 drops kind of thing, and I don't feel like being here for that long, because it's just not AFK enough for one, and also I'm too low level and I have to keep eating. Um, I may do something else. Well, I tried. Right, well, I didn't manage to get the 38 fletching that I needed for the next staff um, within Dungeoneering, so I'm now just going to get that up before I go back. The problem with that is that I'm now the tier above for magic, meaning I now need 48 fletching to get to that. So I'm just going to get to 38, make the tier 4 staff, and then try and get to the floor 15. Which, I've got the level for, I just haven't unlocked it yet, because I've got to do like six floors or something. Um, get the Curse Bearer, and then just try and get myself the tier 5 drop instead. Bark. Split Bark Wand. Demon Slayer. Anti-Dragon Shield. Can you tell what it is yet? Well, this might be incredibly ambitious at this level. Uh, but we're going to try and kill a Steel Dragon, and hope that we can get the Rune Axe drop that way. I don't know how hard it'll be. Right, we got a Steel Dragon kill. Well, we got Rune Darts, which wasn't the most useful thing we could have got. Okay, we got an Iron kill as well. Um, Advent Square Shield, that is an Elk. When I can Elk. I don't think we can go for another one. But, tell you what, no, screw it. We're going to go for another Steel and see how it goes. If we have to run, we have to run. Okay, we're going to end this trip here. This was mostly a test. Um, oh, how many coins? 470. Okay. Well, all the bars are very useful. The Addy Square Shield pays for the entrance fee, which was, which you know, was the biggest thing to cover. I didn't get a rune hatchet, but I did prove that I can get this. So if I just get a slightly higher magic level, I should be fine to do this. Right, the biggest problems I had with that trip then was obviously the amount of food I used, which is why I'm back fishing now. I'm going to try and get a few more cards to be able to keep doing that. Uh, I'll probably get my magic up a bit more before I do go back, although I did prove that it worked, just not brilliantly. Um, you do have to use auto attacks. Uh, you can't just use abilities all the time because obviously that's just how it goes. Um, you, there's just not enough abilities. Um, unless I put in some defensive abilities just to try and use thing up I don't know how I'd want to do that though uh, so aside from doing the food I couldn't cross the agility shortcut uh, so I had to go round the long way within the dungeon because I need level 12 agility 
I am level 11 agility. I am obviously just going to get that one level before I go back as well. So, with any luck, we can get ourselves a rune hatchet from Steel Dragons today. Alright, so I got the agility level. I did a small amount of fishing, just enough for, say, a couple of a couple more trips. Um, I didn't train my magic at all. And we're just going to have another go and see how it goes this time with better food. Hopefully I can get three or four steel dragon kills this time. I uh, forgot to record. The first drop we got uh, rune javelins, which aren't a useful drop at all. But they should sell to a shop for possibly the 875 GP back, which is the biggest concern. Alright, second kill this trip. Rune limbs. That's not a bad one at all. That's an out. And we've got a rune hatchet! We got it! Worth. Right, we're going to call that trip there. Um, I'm pretty happy with how that went, actually. That's what, four, five, six, seven, eight dragons. We got three alks, which pays for everything back and covers the cost of more runes. Because I've used about a third of the runes I bought which was about 11k's worth. Um, as soon as I can out, that will be able to replenish that more so. So this might actually be my source of coins for a while. It's also, you know, a good source of bars and of bones. So I'm happy with how this has gone. So now I'm going to play with myself, my uh, rune axe for a bit. Um, just because I, you know, have and can. Um, and I'll probably work on, obviously, my wood cutting, but fletching and fire making in sort of equal measure. Right, I got to 30 fire making and got an extra fletching level and then kind of got bored. Um, decided that what I want to do is get the easy seers um, reward. So I'm going to try and just get these tasks done. I don't know if I can do them all at this stage, but I guess we'll just sort of have a go at it and see how it goes. Right, so I was just thieving the um, master farmer trying to get some jute seeds for the easy task. And I hit 41 and 700 milestone total. Right, well, I've just looked through them a bit better. Uh, the Poison Chalice one's absolutely fine. Um, the five parts from Sinclair Mansion. I have to start a quest, but it's not a difficult quest. It's fine. Um, this one, five locals, a glass of cider. To get cider, I have to complete... I either have to brew, which takes, like, a week, when it's not the quickest way of doing it, um, or I have to do the quest Royal Trouble, which requires quite a few other quests and some levels I don't have that would take quite a while to get as well. So that one I can't really get. Uh, and then the last one, see that one's fine as well. Um, so I can't get that anytime soon. The reason I wanted that was for the double yield from cutting normal trees. But I guess I can just live with cutting one. So we're just going to cut one. Right, so what we wanted the logs for was to start our construction, and I have just seen that this shop here, Beefy Bill, he actually sells red berries. So it was wasted effort to go and go all the way to go get them before. So let's just try doing our construction, see how much this is going to cost. Is that the normal price? Ooh, 2600. That's not that's going to that's going to be expensive pretty quickly. I probably won't do this for too long. And I want to do this now so that I get a higher construction level before I do the god statues, because uh, then I'll get more XP from it. Alright, a painful amount of time later, from one invent, I've managed to reach level 8. Um, I probably won't do this much longer. This was quite horrible. Um, I do want to get it up a little, but probably not too much. I probably want to get to an alk stage so that I've actually got an income before I continue doing this. I just wanted to get it off level 1 because it was the only one I had at level 1. Uh, I'm going to go back to fishing then um, and I'll probably just do that for the end of the rest of the day just to sort of build up a um, a stock of food as it were. Uh, I might do some more dungeoneering but I, I mean I'm going to end the video off here 